Hey, good morning, everybody. This is the professor with Day Trading for Success. I'm here with a fairly large group uh, with, on Zoom. They kind of wrangled me into quarterback this morning uh, for NVIDIA. Um, so I'm coffeeed up, and we just finished uh, marking out everything together. So what quarterbacking means is I'll be calling the ball, I'll be calling the trades, but obviously uh, they all take their own trades. Please read this uh, disclaimer. I am not a licensed financial advisor, so pause and read that. So what are we going to be trading today? We're going to be trading the range-bound RV strategy, and we're going to be doing it with NVIDIA. So everybody here has been able to make margin up to this amount of money. If you've only got 25000 in your account, uh, you would probably only be able to do 200 shares of this stock, roughly. We, everybody here was able to add up to this, which is what was agreed upon. We all are trading the same um, share size today. So... Um, the RV strategy is a range-bound strategy based on an ATR channel and then channels within that channel. So let me explain to you what that is briefly. So the first thing you do is you go, this is a day chart that's minimized for screen management down there. Um, so you, um, let me just get this in position so you can see it. So basically what you're doing is you're going to the close of the previous day, which was 451.78, and then you're looking at the ATR, which should be right down here. There it is, 1772 roughly. And you take that close, you divide the ATR in half, which is the average true range over a 14-day period, right? There's a bunch of videos on how to do this on the channel. Um, and I'll go over the layout in just a second, and we'll be trading in just a few minutes uh, for those of you waiting for the trades. So you take you take that ATR, you divide it by two, and then you take half of it and you subtract it from the close of the previous day's um, candle, and you get the ATR low. And then you add half of it to the close of the candle, and you get the ATR high. So they're marked out, ATR high and low. That's our original channel that we're going to try to trade in with the RV strategy. There's the um, low and then I think the high is there's the high it's kind of hidden because there's a lot of other lines here that I'm going to tell you what they are so basically these uh, all these pivot lines support and resistance lines are where the stock has turned around previously so and over the 10 day period and how do we find those and and what does that mean well the stock was going one way and it went another way so it's likely it's going to do that again nobody knows the reason why and nobody knows how often it will do it again but marking those out is a good idea if it doesn't get intolerable and what you do is you create channels with these highs and lows ceilings and floors all right and then in between. <clears throat> so as the candle begins to move through these levels, you got to look at it like it's being shackled. Every time it breaks through, it's being held, it's being held. Eventually, it hits a ceiling, it can't break through, it falls off, it's getting pulled back down. That's how you should imagine it. What else you have on here is a five-minute grid, which is telling me at the end of the one minute, this is a one-minute chart, at the end of that grid, I know that the five minutes going to change, so it helps me read what's going to happen for only people that trade five minute, which is a larger majority than the one minute. This is not for the faint of heart. Um, <clears throat> but that's basically what those pivot lines are, and how do we get them? So we we mark out the Fibonacci twice. So when Fibonacci, you go low to high here, and you mark out a Fibonacci level. And inside there, we got at least one level between the ATR high and low. The other one's right on the low. And those are Fibonacci's are fairly respected levels. Then we also do it uh, over a two-day period. And here it is again, low to high. And now you can see between the high and low, you have one, two, three, uh, four, almost five lines combined with the yellow. So now you have a lot, you start with a lot of channels already um, and you can already see how it kind of respected a larger, smaller Fibonacci channel, larger Fibonacci channel. They're being respected, right? So that's why you want to you want to mark those out. And then you go to the four hour chart. It's a greater distance back, and you're marking every body and every wick on a four hour chart. And that's why it gets so jumbled up on the one minute. So the blue lines mean four hours, the red lines mean one hour. So I put the four hours first more recently, and then I looked to see what wasn't being picked up. And then I did a bunch of one hours, which is gonna be more of them because they're just over a one eye per period. But the four hour picks up more of them. Then you can go down to 15 minute, five minute, but 
<clears throat> really, you're trying to create what we call micro channels, small channels, medium, large, and mega. Uh, and there's a lot on that, but not I can't go over it all in this video. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you're creating all these channels. but So this is the perfect one-minute uh, scalping layout. It's referred to as you have the one-minute chart. You have the scalping indicator, which is completely free. You can get it on our channel. Just type in scalping indicator, and then you uh, um, highlight the URL, get it into yours, push control V. And there's a lot of other custom scripts. Everything's for free. The layout's for free. Then you have the day minimized, the four-hour minimized, the one-hour minimized, the 15-minute level two. I have the gateway pulled off to the side here, so you just don't see it. the exchange, I mean. And then you have the um, active trader, then the five-minute, and then another five-minute, the scalping indicator. This is all we really need to scalp the RV range-bound strategy. Um, <clears throat> so, guys, I'm looking for this to break. 455 and then i'm thinking that um i'm thinking that this is you know i'm looking for a see how it's consolidated right here so i'm looking for the beginning of a retracement this is showing us signs that they don't see yet on the five minute so if it continues to you know, right now it's already starting to retrace, but I already saw it pop up here. We don't usually start trading until 10 o'clock. I might start a little earlier if this breaks 455 and stalls. Now, we've got a pretty big spread in a stock like this. Um, and guys, just so you know, uh, you, you're setting your risk tolerance basically on the level of the channels. A stock like NVIDIA is going to move $1 or $2 every minute, one direction or the other. So you need to be able to... If you have 500 shares, hold a position for a $500 red. I mean, if you just you feel so strong that it's going to go down, well, don't purposely hold it to lose more. But I mean, my tolerance is there it goes. So it broke 55 for a second. So let's see if it falls off that. <clears throat> there it goes again. I'm going to get ready to short up here. Let's see if it makes it up to level 18. I'm going to short that, guys. Oh, where's my money? Where's my money? So I'm short right now, and it's still going up. So now you're going to see me do a lot of reversing. That's what I'm famous for. That's what they're expecting from me here today. And one of the reasons I, what reverse just means is you get you sell or uh, you know you you cover the position that you are in, and then it just takes the exact same share size the opposite direction all at once. And the reason why I like to use reverse is that. Um, I don't like to be out of a position. I have the tolerance. I don't want to miss the move. So I'd, I'd like to miss the losing move. But I mean, overall, I'm going to trust in my instincts and the, everything that I read here to be in the move. I've found that the way I trade, when I just cover or, or um, sell, I tend to wait it out and wait too long for a perfect setup. Um, and that is really the right way to trade. But if you're trading a stock like this so fast and you're trying to get, you know, $5,000 a day as quickly as you can, it's kind of another level of scalping that that's why you need to do it in a sim for sure uh, before you just jump right in and do it. It takes, it takes years of practice. Um, and then, of course, you're adding things all the time on how to trade this. So it's just, it's just staying up here in this channel. So if it, if it like, say, if it breaks through here, I'm going to get out. It seemed like it didn't respect that. I mean, it respected that and turned around. That's at 455.50. So that would be a 200 and no, that'd be like $125 loss if it breaks through there for me. But I'm looking for it to fall off. And maybe we can channel from this fib, which is 54.61. Um, that's, uh, that's quite a bit for me. That's like 60 cents. Um, but it might, you know, or see if it gets back down here. So, um, just mark these. I'm going to mark those. So, we did go in before 10. So, I'll do a dotted line when it's right existing. So, I'm going to look at that level too as a potential. I wouldn't respect that as much as the others, so it's a good trade so far. Um, so right now it's only, uh, yeah, it's 9.58, so um, 
There we go. Went right through that line. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I looked up for a second. Okay, so tap down there. Well, if it gets back down there again, that was, uh, I should have reversed. I was looking up when that happened. So you can see that it's turned around down here quite a bit. So it's it seems like it's trying to go back up here. I'm actually going to reverse right there, guys, and bank that money. So I'm looking for it to go back up. Strange enough, it's kind of respected the line that I had there. Um, I'm not liking it. It's going down. I'm going to take a small loss there. I'm going to trade long there. I mean short there. Uh, still banked. Still, still in the in the uh, lead here. I mean, not in the lead. Still ahead of the game here. Wow, definitely went the wrong way here on the short. Okay, so I called that wrong. Ouch. Come on, really? I definitely called that wrong, guys. It's coming back. Yeah, I just, I just, I called the channel right. I just went the wrong way with it. Now, back here, I'll reverse if it gets down there for sure. So look at the level two. Look at the channels. Look at the scalpers indicator. I'm going to reverse. So it got up to 800. How are we doing up there? Wow. Okay. It keeps it keeps messing with me here, but at least I'm staying positive. So if it drops into this channel, I got to get out if it drops below there. So um I'd like to see it break back through, but now it's got a ceiling to break through and it seems like it's trying to push everything down. So I was right about the retracement. Here's the first 5 minute oh there we go. Go back up there guys. Let's see you back up there. Let's get up to 54. D4. I've got to I'd like to see 454 again. Okay, so it broke that. Um there we go. Now, let's see if we can get it, because we're in a great position for long if it gets up here again. Or maybe even back up where it went. So we got a great position now, uh, if you followed me along. It was, it was a little touch and go, but this is a good position now. Got that five minute. Everybody's green, right? Yep. Okay. We're all doing good. Wow. I, I took my eye off the ball for a second. It's going good. Wow. Okay. It's a good trade. Doing a good trade here. So is it going to turn around at 55? Get ready. But remember, it popped way up there at 55. Oh, wow. I'm going to take that. Now, some might say that's counterintuitive, but... Oh, man. Should have waited, huh? Look at that. It's going to break 56. Is it going to break 56? If it breaks 56, i got to get out. I think I'll just, I'll just buy out if it breaks 56. Oh, it did break 56. God. Uh... 
You going to stay up there and kill me? I was doing so good. Oh, okay, I can't take a hit over 500. I'm watching the 500 mark. That, that'll be it for me at 500. I'll, I'll cover. I might have taken, I should have taken a lesser loss down there as it dropped back down to the 100 range. It looks like it's going to keep moving up now. Look at that five minute. That's nice and strong. And that, that scalper's indicator called it way high over here. Oh, there we go. God, should I cover here? It's finally going the way I wanted. You guys doing? Now, now we go. Now we go. <laughs> got it. So I just had to wait it out, and that's part of it, right? You just gotta, you gotta wait for these moves. So I'm gonna pull back to this fib. I'm looking at the 50% fib as a. Oh, I'm not gonna buy out anymore. I'll reverse if it if it hits that fib. So is it breaking through the $55? Wow. I'm going to want to reverse here soon. This is not... I should have taken it down there. Should have taken it down there. I'm going to take that. So I banked it over 2K. I'm, I am now long at 54.74, 454.74. Guys, yeah, a couple of you still short. Yep, I'm getting hit. Dogeed on the five. It just opened the new five right here. And that doji is sending, it's sending it up here. Heading up here. Resting on that 50% fib, guys. Now it's, uh, now it's, now that moved fast past that, so. Wow. I'm going to reverse right there. Is that a mistake? I'm reversing back. I'm long again. Can it break 56? Almost. Ah, got short. Ah, I lost 30 bucks on that. Long again. The slippage is is incredible, is what's happening here. Yeah, if I only have... All right, I took that. That helped me. Whoa. <laughs> wow. So I'm doing some quick reverse, and you probably can't keep up with me. I'm on a short now. I think all that jumbly gunk I just did made me like a hundred bucks or something. It wasn't. Uh, I was watching the price action in the level two more than the, the histogram seems to be running a little short, and the scalping indicators kind of got me nothing down there. It's sort of even. It is showing that the um, that it's buyer strong still. So I'm in the wrong position to be buyer strong, but it's way up at its high. So. I'm betting it's going to retrace at least enough that I can carve another scalp out of it. <clears throat> I'm going to go long. <coughs> I 
Yeah, I, 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 I messed up. I lost money on that trade. The slippage is too great. Watching level two price action. I'm actually going to reverse there. Um, I don't like the look of that. I'm looking for it to short at this point. So, oof. There we go. Darn it, I had it for a second. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reverse again. I'm I'm uh, this reverse is getting me in trouble right here. Thought I had a handle on it, but it's not uh it's not moving how I would like. Might take a lesser loss over 3K here and regroup. See if I can get a little greedier and have this get back up. Climb back up there. Yeah, it's 453 4.5603 long. Not feeling good about it right now. Not feeling I want to reverse either. Okay. Oh, I should have taken the 15, but it would have slipped. I could slip 100 bucks on me here, so. I'm actually just going to get out for a second, guys. Uh, it slipped upward for me. That was good. Oof. All right, let me just regroup a second here. So I got, I broke 3K. How are you guys doing? Everybody's still in a position. I don't, the volume dropped so much right now, I'm a little worried. Um, I was having difficulty calling those. So I'm out for now until I see something here. So it went up, came down, went back up. I thought it was going to kind of retrace this. It didn't. Got your first five minute red happening here. It's right at the point of control on the five minute. So I normally like to be in a position, but it was not. I was making some mistakes there. So I ended up recovering. I don't think I'm at the highest point I was, but um, it's not too bad. I mean, it's pretty good for the day. So our goal is typically 5K with this share size um, on this type of a stock. Sometimes you make it, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you go red. Um, so trying to keep control. I, I really felt a little out of control there. So I just, I need to get, just slow down a second. This is when I would say log. <laughs> but now you should go to your log book and log. But, um, and think about what are you thinking right now? Why were you taking, you know, 10 trades with no clear signs? <laughs> Basically looking at the money and the price action were my clear signs. But, you know, I, I did look at the channels for sure. So it really respected up here, 43. It sent it back a couple times. Um, and then it sort of channeled in here a whole bunch. So you've got a bunch of channeling going on, which is what the RV strategy is all about. So, um, Fifty six. I I will short it fifty. I'm gonna short right there. I'm gonna take a short there. It keeps dropping off of fifty six, four fifty six. So I'm gonna let it spike down and then down to like fifty five twenty five ish area. If you look at the channels here, and then try to capitalize with a quick reverse and see if it goes back. It's not enough of a, a green for me to, to jump out because it'll slip. It can slip a hundred bucks easy on 500 shares with this, with this, um, 
you know, market maker price action here. It's uh, I need to get it closer to 55, and then I'm going to reverse it if it gets close to 55. Even below 55.50, I might reverse it. There it goes. Okay, so it went down pretty fast when it did that. So I'm going to wait for a couple of a couple of steps down here. Ten cents, a couple of ten cents steps down. No, nope, it's not doing it. Went the other way. I just don't think I would have got anything out of that scalp. I think it would have uh, it would have slipped. And that's what was happening just a minute ago. I was slipping a hundred. You know, I'd have a positive scalp and then it would slip like a hundred bucks and then suddenly I got a negative scalp and then I'm in the wrong position trying to make up for it it was just getting too much it's really stopping it's upward or downward moving it's just kind of sitting here so I'm, I'm not I'm not feeling bad about this position but uh, I'm definitely keeping an eye on it yeah four four fifty five seventy seven. 77 uh, that's short four fifty five seventy seven short Looking like for at least fifty cents, kind of kind of thing, but really, I can't I can't get a fifty cent right. So this Fibonacci would stop it. That's it, four fifty five. Yeah, I mean, I should probably just try to get in here, and get out of here. I'm gonna take that. And that did that make me money? I think it did. I'm long at four fifty five forty now, because it seems like it's starting to it's channeling up here more than below it seems like it might be getting ready to just go up like this is a small per pullback before it just flies upward here or not uh. this is not reconciling quick because i have a Now it's reading right. But, yeah, I should be green right now. It's not. Well, the spread's so high. That's what it is. It's throwing me off because of the spread. Yeah. So I'm looking for a bounce up there. I'm going to take that. So I, I, I uh, took it too soon. So I've got 455.69 now, a little bit better than the last time, I think. No, I had 70. Yeah, this is going to be hard to do to trade it this way because of the slippage. So, uh, I'm not sure about, whoa, I'll take that. What am I, I'm, I'm long now. God, I'm getting confused where I am. I'm just going to sell, okay? <laughs> 38.85. Okay, so I have no position, 38.85. Oh, a couple people are ahead of me for sure. I just, this is, this is getting redonkulous right here. So we need a clear, a clear movement here. So um, let's just take a breath, see what we got here. So we're only at, uh, we're only at 1016. Still got, you know, 10 to 15 minutes left to trade for me. Um, Okay, I'm going to go short off the top up there. Shorten off the top. I'm counting this to be the top now, I hope. Um, so I got it. I got a pretty good off the top there. 94, 55, 95 was the very high. So I'm feeling comfortable. If it traverses this channel up, I'll get out. If it breaks through up here, um, which it looks like it's going to do because it keeps popping through that ceiling. And this ceiling is being wicked respected here. That's one of the channels. That's a one hour. And then this four hour kind of in between, it was doing ping pong in here. And then the other one hour. So, you you know, you could look at those two, those channels. Is that it was hard to read because they weren't big enough channels for this amount of slippage that we're having on this stock. But um, I really wish it would just trend one direction, up or down or something. Because this is, uh, I mean, I want to be in the move, you know, but this is a little... This is a little tough to call, guys. So, um, wow, look at that. I'll reverse there long again. Oh. I don't like that. Is it going to break through that? Oh, boy. 
I'm going to get out for the lesser loss there and go short. That looks like it's going to go short to me. Actually made money there, I think. <laughs> Wasn't I at 3,800? Oh, there we go. Yeah, this looks like it's a strong, stronger short move here. So let's take a look at this for a second. Yeah, that's your second, starting to make your second red five minute. People are going to lose confidence here because it basically uh, was making lower highs here. So that one didn't spring past that. It like double topped on the wick and then it dropped here. But really, volume's low here, so it's still a battle again. It's still a battle. I'm, I'm feeling kind of lucky that I'm not at about 2,500 because this I got lucky on a couple of those scalps. Four fifty five thirty eight short. Four fifty five thirty eight short. I'm gonna hold this a second, guys. I just uh, because of the amount of slippage, I just I don't just jumping out at a hundred bucks or hundred and fifty bucks just isn't working. I mean it is, but it's I think there's a lot of luck in that. Be quite frankly, because of the slippage. So oh, there it goes up. Okay, so I should have got out there. Yeah. Would have made at least 50 bucks or something. So here we go again, guys. Here we go again. Ah, we're talking. But now it's broken. So now I'm going to hold. Yeah, so, so that's three sellers in a row that won down here on the scalper's indicator. And this is the third five-minute red. Okay, so this is a sign it's going to get down. So it could retrace, like, you know, down here somewhere. So if, it, if this is the real retracement, it looks like. So let's hold strong a minute. Don't panic. I know it's hard not to take this profit. Um, it's only 10.20. So that other line I drew, it just went right through that. I drew that this morning, so I just... Uh... Wow, we're doing good. So I'm I'm watching this very closely. This is a good trade, guys. We can make our goal on this trade. See if it stops at 28. I'm not going to reverse. Price level 28, I mean. Um, you guys have a different... Uh, if you're not watching my screen, I was... Um, wow. Okay, so there's 5K. Here comes the VWAP. Darn it. I should have just... This is getting too much to hold, so I'm going to I'm going to get out of this pretty quick. I'm not going to lose all this. My P&L is 935 bucks. 900. I wish I would have just snagged it at the 5k. Yeah, that it's just stopping at those two pivots. Those one hours might be turning this around. But if you look at the sellers down here, I mean, they dropped a little on that, but look at the sellers taking over here. So Okay, so that's a doji green. Five minutes still, just red. So that's a sign for us that it's going to turn around and they don't see that yet. Uh, 
Okay. If that hits 700, I'm going to get out. Looking at the money. Riding this out, though, if it bangs down. Wow, it just looks like it's going to turn around, doesn't it? Uh, this is the longest trade we've had, so I'm, I'm inclined with the cushion to hold for the bigger move. Not going to reverse. I, I don't trust this either way. I don't trust it right now. It might just sit right here like it did up there for a whole long, long time before it starts going back up. Okay, it <laughs> broke through, so that's good. Broke through again, so I break over 5K again. There's the 5K, so. Now I'm looking at the VWAP for a potential turnaround because it broke down rather than broke up, so holding is the smarter play right now. Might want to just bank this and get back in though. One more hit. I think I'm going to bank this. If it gets up to like 51, 52, I'm just going to bank it. Here comes, I'm going to take that. I'm going to just get back in it. I'm just going to go right back in the position. That banked me over five, so the four hour. I mean, it's going to turn back around here. It must be turning back around in a minute here. Look at the reds. I mean, it could just keep going down. I feel better having some of that in my pocket, though. Now I don't, I don't mind holding this for sure now. So let's see. Wow, it's still going down. I'm sure I probably, by banking it, I probably lost like 100 bucks easy. Not only because of the slippage, but that it kept going down. Might have been 200 but still, I feel safe getting that in my, my pocket here in case there's a big, it could, because it could just go and before you react, you know. Um, So look at the even dollar amounts now. So it broke through uh, 452. How's it going to break through 451.50? Half dollar and even dollar amounts. 451.50. Look at that. Look at it going. That could turn it around right there at that four hour, which is at 451.49. I mean, it can't just keep going down like this. Well, yeah, you never say never like that, obviously, but um, the prudent move would to assume that it's going to stop doing this at some point. But let's ride it until, uh, is everybody short? Yep, okay. Yep, okay. I see that we have a $7,000 over there. That's awesome. Um, can it break the 50 cents? Yep, did on the bid, bid, and went back and forth. Quite a spread. There it goes. <laughs> Broke it. Wow. Is it going to break 51 even? Oh, man. Yes, it did. Oh, wow. Look at it go. So it's got a wide open channel to this. Or, you know, 50, 450 even down here. Is it going to make it? Oh, man. This is a lot of money not to just take. Guys, I'm going to take this soon. I'm just going to bank it. I'm going to take that right there. Oops. God. I was short. What am I doing? Wow, that actually worked out for me. Oh, I got confused. But that worked out for me. <laughs> okay, so what happened here? Did it, is it going to turn around or not? I got it way out of here. I was up here somewhere, right? I don't know where I got out. 
that was a, that was a ride. I'm at my time though, so you guys obviously can. Some of you, some of you are already getting off. Um, but that was a great day. So guys, remember uh, if you like what you saw here, to subscribe and get a thumbs up. We have a lot of um, archive videos. Go to the archives and a lot of uh, trading. You can see examples of trading. Um, as well as all these layouts and scripts and everything else. And our goal is to basically get you to make $100 a day, $200 a day, $500 a day until you can maybe quit that job. So that's kind of the overall goal here. Um, so we'll see, uh, you know, hopefully you can remember trading a sim, trading a sim. Uh, we're covering it. We have a couple other strategies we're teaching here too, um, which is the escalator strategy and then the open strategy. So they're all separated on playlists if you're looking for those different types of trading and how we, how we trade them. Um, the open strategy is one that uh, I've been trading for long, long before the RV strategy, which is basically you're waiting for the pre-market high or low to be broken in an open session to make your decision to go in, um, you know, to, to ex exit or enter or sell or buy so to speak so okay guys well thanks for watching um we'll see you next time stay green out there